Welcome to this video playing Thanks and Good Game. <laughs> Thanks, Good Game. Yeah, nice, na nice name. Okay, um, we got um, got the French, French Tarash. And uh, well, I'm not not a very frequent one year four player, so always a bit um, <clears throat> bit tricky. Let's see. First thing is, I hope to get this this bloody pawn back. <laughs> okay. Oh, he allows me to take there. Hmm. Yeah, damaging the pawn structure cannot be that bad, I guess. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <clears throat> let's um. Let's um play with those two bishops on b two and d three. Always nice. Knight f4, yeah, this um, might be an idea. <clears throat> Should I play knight e5? Maybe knight e5. Um, yeah, possibly knight g4 on f6. Hmm. 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 I don't really like this idea so much. <laughs> I should have considered this a bit. Um, yeah, hmm. now I probably just have to go back, right? Knight g4, it's not making much sense. And I still have h2 hanging. Yeah, well, I don't know how much uh, really he benefited from all that. But um, I should have um, thought about this a bit more. Queen d4, knight e2. Not good. Not good. Mm, I still wonder. Is there some? It looks a bit. It looks a bit unreliable. The whole thing. Okay, maybe start with this. But e5. Uh, maybe you can go e5. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering, knight h4 maybe, but this f5 here. So there's not lots of pressure. <clears throat> there's lots of pressure on e5. Hmm. And we're very close to to having some some cute mates working, like this this knight g6 mate. Like if I take it, yeah, rook d3, I'm threatening knight g6 mate. But there is no way this is really going to going to be correct. Still, still interesting. And um, I was also briefly thinking about queen e5. But um, probably not. Just just go back. That's that's okay. E5 is now under big pressure. How is he going to uh, to defend it? If he may hmm, cannot really move the knight anyway. Hmm. What I was trying to say is that also the queen sometimes can shift to h3 with knight g6 um, in the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is wide open. If I go queen um, d4 now. I'm threatening on g7 and threatening d6. Where is he going? Knight d5 maybe? Hmm. <clears throat> Rook d8. Hmm. Rook d8. There's also bishop a3, this idea. If I take twice, a8 is hanging and d6 is hanging. h2 also, okay. Hmm. Yeah, not much choice, um, especially considering the time. Check. Need to <clears throat> get this going. 
there's there's this play against g7 hmm yeah well this is a threat now yeah bishop g7 and knight f5 yeah possibly Bishop g7. It's not easy to defend. Um, this I didn't see. Takes. B takes. <clears throat> I don't really want. If I take. <clears throat> Bishop takes. I really don't see a good continuation after that. Hmm. Queen e6 maybe keeping f5 under attack and still attacking the rook maybe g3 but this looks scary g3 is very scary move Yeah, maybe you can play rook f8 simply. g3, bishop g3. I don't really know if this is any good. Yeah, but maybe I need to do that. I really, if if I consider after rook f8, okay. So, hmm, I don't get it really. If I can, I not take f5. Let's 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 take first. Think later, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the G7 um, pawn is under much pressure on the long diagonal here. Um, mm, I have no rook D7 or anything, right? Hmm. Knight h4 a threatening checkmate with knight g6 queen h3. Maybe try this, try with this uh, threat. <laughs> it's maybe a bit like playing for a trap, but it's not a bad trap. Yep. Check. Check. Queen h6 mate. Very nice motif actually with Black the queen. Resigns. The queen retreating. Well, it was really playing for a trap with little time on the clock. There should be some defense against it. Rook. Uh, uh, funny. <laughs> the computer. Rook g to f8. Just uh, going there. Hmm. Yeah. I can't think about knight f5 here. Yeah, because rook takes rook d7 should be very nice for white. But he has uh, all kinds of ideas, like e3 here. With a big counter attack. This is obviously an engine line. Bishop g2, Check. maybe. Check. And the computer tells me this is just totally drawn. <laughs> yeah, probably some some sort of perpetual or anything. Yeah, it is a perpetual after this. Check. 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 Black Check. gets in all the checks. Yeah, well, very tough to uh, to to analyze. If we, I want to just briefly go back around here. I felt that, that there should be should be something, but queen e3 is right, e4, g3 is strong. Oh, g3, of course, of course, because of queen h6. Ah, I see, I see, of course. Yeah, look at this. If I go g3 and he plays knight e6, there is this yeah. funny move. Yeah. Check. Checkmate. Isn't this nice? <laughs> Very nice. Of course, I didn't. I didn't see that at all. 
and this means he cannot move the knight basically he can go here but then there's rook d5 takes and uh, then it's check. okay let's uh, let's see check check yeah and again Checkmate. again the mate the two bishops are just fantastic here wow that's very cute very cute g3 i didn't i didn't consider queen d4 is uh, is obviously much worse in comparison <clears throat> it still seems that the computer likes white a lot but it's of course a different matter queen e6 immediately was probably stronger and uh, here oh knight g7 is winning okay um why actually ah of course because yep he needs to take with this rook <laughs> Yeah, well, this is Check. very easy. He needs to take with this rook, and then rook d7 is really uh, is really deadly. As <clears throat> there is the threat of bishop g7. It's, if he goes here, for example, there is this. Check. I'm sorry, this Check. of course. Oops. And oops. Check mate. And mate. Yeah, some funny funny mates and tricks there. Yeah, I tried for this. Check. Check. for this one and uh, got rewarded checkmate with this checkmate <laughs> okay this was this was nice some nice uh, tactics in there hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching